For this problem, when you're trying to graph or to determine the points that you should use for graphing, first of all, just go ahead and start with the equation that was given and then try and choose some values for x that are perfect cubes and to see what you get back out for y. So to get started, we have y equal the cubic root of x minus 7. Notice the minus 7 is not underneath the perfect cubed. So I'm just going to make a table of values, and again, I want to choose values that I know have perfect cubes. So some perfect cubes are things like negative 27, negative 8, negative 1, 0, 1, and 8, for example. So if we plug in negative 27, I'd have the cubic root of negative 27 minus 7. The cubic root of negative 27 is a negative 3 because if I take negative 3 and multiply it by itself, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, 9 times negative 3 is negative 27, I'll get a negative 10. So when I plug a negative 27 in, I get a negative 10 out. Okay, plugging in a negative 8. Cubic root of negative 8 minus 7. The cubic root of negative 8 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9. Okay, and you just go down the line and you can do this for each of the points. And you could choose points, let's say you might plug in uh, 7, but 7 doesn't have a perfect cube, so that's going to be a little bit harder to work with, so you have decimal values. Cubic root of negative 1 is negative 1, minus 1 minus 7 is minus 8. Here if we plug in a 0, I get a negative 7 back out. Plug in a 1. Cubic root of 1 is 1, 1 minus 7 is negative 6. You kind of see a trend here too. If you look along, starting at the top, negative 10, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, negative 6. So I'm guessing here we'll probably get negative 5 because we're following the trend of perfect cubes this way. So plugging in an 8, get the cubic root of 8 minus 7. It's just a minus 7 there. 2 minus 7 is negative 5. So then once you get these points, you go ahead and start graphing them. So this is the ordered pair in negative 27, negative 10. Now if we look on this graph right here, the one that you have check marked, if you notice I can't quite get negative 27 out in the left direction, but I could start with 0, negative 7, and that's an important point on this graph. And this is the only graph that has that ordered pair of 0, negative 7. We could also look at 1, negative 6, and that's clearly on this graph as well. If we could blow it up, it would be a little bit easier to see. But the upshot is, is the way you choose points is you choose points as perfect cubes to find those ordered pairs. Hope this helps.